Hi everybody and welcome back again to the Xena Super Duty build. In today's episode, we're going to fit the glass to the door frames. We're gonna put the doors on, bolt the engine in, paint the airplane, and we're gonna fly it. Well, some of that might not be true, but let's see how far we can get. Well, the first step is to attach the door frame to the fuselage. So I have my two pins that go in here. One goes that way, one goes this way. And down at the bottom, again, I've, uh, where are they? Oh, I've Clicoed this uh, door seal in from the, the underside so that the Clicos aren't sticking up. That lets the door close. And next I will Clico the glass to the door frame. You can see how much overlap there is on the glass. Now, not on the top because I've already trimmed that, but on the front and back and on the bottom, you can see there's quite a bit of overlap, which is really good. I'm glad that there's a, enough of an overhang there and it'll let each builder custom trim it to fit their particular airplane. What I just did was I went around and I made just a little mark uh, right behind all the, like this trim piece here where I need to cut the windshield. And I just did it all the way around and I'm, I'm doing the first cut a little bit big because I'd much rather trim not enough than too much. So now I'm gonna take this off and draw a line with where those marks are and I can cut all of the edges. So obviously all I'm doing here is putting a ruler between the marks that I made on the door and drawing a straight line and that's where I'll know how much to trim or where to trim on all of the edges. You can see here where I've drawn the lines on here. Now this is the back side here and you'll notice as it comes up here it's got this little joggle right here and I'll show you where or why that is. That is where the door glass will go around the aft wing mount here. So the door, I want it to be, you know, fit right back here, but then it's got to come in a little bit and then up. So that's why I have that little joggle. I can show you what I mean by looking at the cruiser here. Here, this big gray piece right here is the aft wing strut attach point. And you can see right there where the glass is cut. So it goes all the way back to here and then it's cut out around there. And I think the first thing I'm going to do is drill a hole right here so that when I cut this out, there would be a, a round edge there. And again, not a 90 degree corner. Well, I think this is gonna be it for me for the night. I'm kind of tired. Uh, this is all ready to cut, which is a messy job. So I will do that bright and early tomorrow morning. Well, good morning, everyone. We're back at it. Another day building the Super Duty. And you know what the first task for today is. I've got my old crappy clothes on because this is going to be messy. We're going to trim all the way around this door and we're gonna get dust everywhere. Well, that was not a whole lot of fun, but it is done. So right now I'm gonna take a sanding block and just roughly clean up the edges. I'm not worried about getting the edges too nice because I probably will have to trim or sand a little bit more off, but I'll just clean up the edges real quick and then I'll fit the glass back on a door and see how it fits.
Well, let's see how we did here for our first cut. Now, some of this might be hard for you guys to see in the camera, but one of the things I notice is even the door is cut perfectly straight, but I notice it's a little bit closer up here to the trim than it is in the middle. And that just tells me this trim piece isn't perfectly straight on there. So I'll probably have to trim from about here up. Just, uh, I don't even have to trim it, just sand it a little bit there. And we'll see down in the corner here, you can see I have a little bit more, I need to round off the door a little bit more to fit in there. Um, and it looks like all around the bottom, it's almost perfect, but I probably need to just get a sanding block and take off maybe about a 32nd of an inch or so. On the back corner here, you can see uh, I need to trim off quite a bit here in the corner to fit inside here. And in the back is looking pretty good too. You can see all the way up here to where I have it cut out for the uh, wing mount. I do need to clean this up a little bit, but it looks like it's a, a nice cut there. And of course the top, we already know that's good. We did that first. So I'm pretty happy with it. I didn't find anywhere on here where I cut it too short, which is good. I'd rather have it a little bit long to where I can just sand it and trim it. But what I'll do is I'll get my marker again or that Sharpie and kind of draw in the corners and, and where I need to trim a little bit. Then I'll take it back off and trim it. And this side, I think, will be done. This is the aft bottom corner. You can see where I need to trim. And this is the front bottom corner. And that's where I need to trim on the front. And here it is, take two. So I or sanded a little bit off the top and that looks good now. Down at the bottom here, I notice I have to sand about this much off the front or maybe this much, it, it's pretty close to here. And this corner here, almost perfect, but a little bit more off of there. All around the bottom looks pretty good. And then in the back corner, that's almost perfect, but I need to sand just a little bit more. It's just touching the aluminum there. And then don't forget, this will be painted, so I definitely don't want this touching the aluminum at all when, when the door closes. It doesn't need to touch it, and I want a space there so it doesn't scratch the paint. So I do need this to uh, sand a little bit more off of that curve, and uh, everything else looks good. So just a couple more spots there, and this door will be complete. All right, after sanding it down again, I'm happy with the overall fit here. I think everything's looking good. Now I notice there's a few spots on the very bottom that may be just a tad long that I might need to sand a little bit more, but I'm going to wait to do that because this uh, door seal is not riveted on. And I think once it's riveted on, it will come down a little bit. You can see how I can push it down here. So. I don't, want to, I don't want to fit the door to this and then have this come down and then have a too big of a space on the bottom. So right now there's a couple spots where it's just barely touching. So I think what I'll do is, like I said, once I rivet that door seal, I can put the door back on and if I have to, just take a sanding block and clean up the bottom edge just a little bit. But all the corners and sides and fronts and everything are looking good. I think now I can move on so this right here, I need to cut this hole out. And here's the lines I traced on the top of the glass. The first thing I did was just drill a hole in the middle and now I'm just going to open up that hole with this uni bit, just enough to get my uh, grinder in there with a the Dremel and then I can open it up while it's still on the door frame. Instead of the sanding drum, I want to see how this grinding wheel, or whatever you call it, works on this plexiglass. 
Now, in case it doesn't work well and it shatters it or something like that, I have this scrap piece here that I'm just going to try it on and we'll see how it works. It works very nicely. I will use it. Here is the door handle as provided by Zenith. It's a nice handle, comes with a couple keys, some nuts on the back. I'll take this out and see how it fits in here. But I think that's about all I can do. There's no point in actually installing that because all of this comes off again to prime and paint the door. I need to prime and paint all these corner pieces. And then can you see how some of this acrylic or plexiglass, whatever this is, is kind of fogged up here? I can actually feel it too. There's like a bump on there. So there's gonna, this is going to require some sanding and buffing and polishing, which I will wait until summer to do. Well, that actually really, that doesn't fit at all in there. In fact, I think the opening in that aluminum is too small too. Let me try this in the other door. Oh, well, look at that, it does fit. Okay, well, good. So the hole in the aluminum is the right size. Maybe I just didn't open up that, the, the glass enough. So I'll open up that a little bit more and then that should fit in there like that. Now, a little trick I do when I need to open up a hole like this is instead of just carving it out, you know, you, it's really hard to tell how much you're taking off. I just trace right along the perimeter here, draw on the perimeter a, a pen mark. So that way I can basically uh, grind it away with my Dremel until that pen mark is gone. And that gives me a real good idea of how much I'm actually taking off. Now this door is mostly complete. The next step, like I said, is to paint the, the frame and the brackets. And then once summer comes and I can kind of set up a bench outside, I can sand and polish the uh, glass on here and then build it all and install it on the airplane. So there's not much more I can do to this door now. But everything you saw in this video and probably the last video, I now have to do on the pilot side door. I don't need to show you guys that because it's going to be exactly the same as what I just did. So I will end this episode here. Hope you guys have a good weekend coming up and uh, we'll see you again on the next episode.